mentioned uh, still trying to figure out what this team is. Isn't it kind of simple at this point? Derek no, I mean, I think we have to continue to make sure that we we appreciate, you know, I think who we are. And, you know, it's certainly you know, an element that we have to run the football. We have to be able to create a lot of things off of that. Um, you know, defensively, we have to, you know, make sure that we're not giving up X plays and all those things. And, you know, there's a physical <laughs> physical style of brand that, that we want to play with. And, um, you know, that's going to have to change based on who we play sometimes. But I think, you know, our opportunities to – to rush the passer, have to come from from stopping the run and make sure that we're not giving up people, you know, easy yardage there. <clears throat> You're in a situation where you have to go with Malik again. We'll give you that confidence in, in a different game that it, where there might be more demands on him that he could handle more. Well, we'll continue to progress through and take a look and see where we are this week of practice. And, you know, I think it's a good opportunity that he got his first start. And uh, I know he'll learn a lot more. Or he'll learn from from the things that you know he can correct and fix and you know that that's the way we'll approach it we'll we'll try to make sure that there's a plan in place and that everybody's confident in it and see how the game goes how much, how much do you think the week off helped Ryan and how's he how's he doing maybe a week later we'll know more when we practice on Wednesday is the uh, I know the illness came out late too is he over the the illness portion of things? we'll see on Wednesday when the injury report comes out like the line, the offensive lines play yesterday. What did you see on, on tape? Well, I thought that they were into it, obviously, trying to get Derek to the second and third level. Uh, it's hard to block the post safety. We run out of guys. And so uh, Derek was on that guy a lot. And I felt like, you know, sometimes they moved and we caught them, and sometimes they didn't move and we caught them. But then sometimes they moved. They caught us a couple times there. And um, But all in all, I think that they were into their combinations. There's things that – you know, they can improve on, but there were things that we had talked about trying to get better at uh, that they certainly that, – that showed up. Christian Fulton said yesterday that he wants to take that next step towards becoming a better player. For you, and especially after seeing that game yesterday, what have you seen that has allowed him to do that? Well, I think, you know, this league is about, you know, everything that you want to do is about the next week. So I, I'm glad that Christian wants to try to improve. I, I'm, I hope they all do. Um, Christian knows that we hold him to a high standard, but he's going to have to do that against Kansas City. You know, number one passing offense in the league, number one for points. So this week would be a good week to, to continue to improve and, and, and cover and, and tackle like he's done. And, you know, he's playing man. He understands the concepts most of the time in zone. So you know, that's been good to see. What does it say about Jeff that he was able to turn in a dominant type performance? On an, on an ankle injury and not able to practice all week? Can't say enough, you know, I mean, about him as a player and a person. Um, we talked about his technique and how he's improved on that. I think that continues to help him. Um, you know, he, this team means a lot to him. Uh, you know, we need Jeff to, to help us perform. Talk us to the play where, uh, where Chig was pretty wide open on the right side and what, what Malik saw and did. Well, I'm not going to be able to speak for what Malik saw or did, but you know we just got to get it out of our hands sooner enough. Sooner. How much of your defensive success series recently is predicated on being able to do it with just four guys up front, not having to bring extra? I mean, I think that that's you know part of it. I mean, yesterday it was about stopping a run and forcing them into longer yarded situations, and then affecting the quarterback. And you know, sometimes it was the coverage, sometimes it was the rush. I mean, Bud Sack was great coverage third and long in a red zone and you know quarterback had to hold the ball there were other times where the you know the rush helped the the coverage and I think that's a great way to to be able to play defense is not to rely solely on one area but try to let everything work together and you know have everybody do their jobs the, the Simmons and Tart make kind of a good pair do they do the skill sets complement one another in any way well Tier continues to improve and be disruptive in there, and I think they communicate well, um, even on the first play of the game. You saw Tier out there hustling, you know, on the um, on the screen. They tried to throw to the tight end, um, and so he continues to improve. He affected the quarterback a few times there late in the game. Uh, I, I don't know if they necessarily complement each other. I think that. Um, you know, they both work in there a lot. The more I've said this, the more the tier can play for us. I think the better that um, we are.
Buddy's got to play up to the standard and, and the effort and, and with, which we expect. So he's working on that and, and trying to do that because if he's only if he's not running to the football, you know, then we're we're not going to have him out there. Does his improvement, I guess, gradual improvement, kind of lessen the attention a little bit on on Simmons? Since he's... I mean, I think Jeff's still going to get plenty of attention. Um, whoever's over there. Mike, you alluded yesterday after the game about how you guys didn't panic with the rushing yards you gave up in week one and you believed to be a good defense. The numbers of the first two weeks defensively obviously not great. Since then, have they been pretty good? Where did the stick to or like resolve stay with from that group, do you think, that allowed you to get back to what you do best? Well, it's a long season. You know, it's a long season. You have to, you know, believe in something. You have to have a foundation, uh, things that you teach, defense that you've been running. You know, that players, you know, just becoming more comfortable in it and, you know, having some success. And you know, I know there's going to be some tweaks each and every week, but, um, you know, ultimately you just kind of settle down and, and be able to make some plays and stop giving up X plays. And, um, you know, I think that, they, but every week, you know, you have to be able to come back and say, who, who are we playing? What is it that they do well? And, uh, and what tweaks are we going to need to make and how much of our normal stuff can we carry through? Because that's the stuff that they know and they play fast and, you know, are able to execute. How big was it that the defense <clears throat> was able to help you overcome some problems early? The two turnovers yep, the sudden and change, the yeah. missed field goal. Yeah, the sudden change uh, was huge. Um, the, you know, the miss, like you said, being able to back them up and then when they get the ball down there on the 10-yard line, you know, actually pushing them backwards there as well. Keeping them out of the end zone, holding the three points. Yeah, negative twenty-six yards of offense after those two yards, after those two turnovers. Well, may, we just have to do that. We have to play that well when when we don't turn it over. As you look back to that uh, championship game against the Chiefs, you, know, you guys have had two consecutive division titles. Do you feel like that was kind of? I know it's a loss, but do you feel like that was kind of like a launching point into the success that you guys have had the last couple of years? Toronto, I haven't thought back about that. I haven't. I, I don't. You know, I mean, I just try to continue to push forward, figure out what we need each and every week, and then kind of go from there. So I know there's going to be some players that have played in that game, be some guys, different players, and you know, we're just continuing to try to build and and, and figure out you know how we win each and every week. Put yourself in a spot where you're the, the two seed right now and, and the head-to-head matchup for it. I know there's a long way to go, but obvious importance on this one. Yeah, not even halfway through, though, Corey. Not even halfway through. A um, lot more games. Um, but this will be a huge challenge going on the road. Great environment um, at night. So we'll, we'll, we'll need everybody uh, that we possibly can get back and figure out, a, get, figure out a way to keep them out of the end zone. Let's talk key. about the success of their offense. I mean, what, what do you even start? I mean, is it starts with the quarterback and trying to figure out a way to to limit his effectiveness, and, and how about some of the other weapons that you have to deal with? Yeah, I mean, I think it starts with obviously Patrick and his ability to not only throw from in the pocket but improvise, and you know the understanding he has with with Kelsey and and Hardman, and it looks like Juju's starting to, to to be a focal point, Scantling, and you know they play three backs that can all catch the ball, and you know they put they put a lot of pressure on you success against them? Has there been a common threat to, to what you've been able to do? Mm, I mean, we've probably taken care of the football. We've probably gotten some turnovers from, from them, won the turnover battle. Um, you know, probably not giving up big plays. I think that's the thing that I can remember the last time we played them is we didn't give up a bunch of X plays and, you know, we were good in the red zone. Offensively, can you guys afford to be as one-dimensional as you had to be? Going forward. We'll see. You know. Despite being one dimensional in those ways, Derek had over a hundred yards against the stacked box, so hundred and twenty yards, something like that. It's the same box why you guys the gurus it's the same box we see every week. Yeah, you know what I mean like it's that box isn't changing. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. Like you guys throw around the analytics or whatever you guys like we we can go talk ball, it's the same box. The safety's at twelve yards. Okay, whether they move or blitz, it's the same number of guys. But go ahead, ask your question. Oh, you're good. you answered it. There you go. If I was, I mean, the post safety, 
probably in the fourth quarter, he should have moved to eight yards. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. He went from 12 to eight. Thanks, guys. <laughs>